Hello, it's Super Doctor Game here, and uh, welcome to some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And I told you I was going to do this game, and I finally got it. And before we start this video, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. You can like, favorite, and subscribe. You can also like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can also follow me on Google Plus, Twitch, and Instagram. So. Not to waste any more of your time, I will press the little start button and let's do this. And then check the audio as well, additional content. The past is your playground, Abstergo. Sponsors. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Mm, thank you. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond. To kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. British Empire in the Victorian era that we had like Canada and India and, and we were spreading Oh 
Oh, in Croydon. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the green guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. So, through that door, basically, so it's the plan. So, here we are. See, my quite. This has been always my question when I saw the trailer, right? You're going to sneak. Where does he put his hat? Seriously! Hang on, let's... And then he gets his hat out of nowhere! It's a magic hat. I've, I've always intended. Uh, hopefully no one will interact with us. If I don't get, actually get anywhere near them. Which would be very good. Locked. What do you think you're doing? Stop them, this trouble. Yeah, of course the doors is always locked, isn't it? This is a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Assassin's Great. I didn't fi uh, figure out that free R2 was free run. Already. Always work on the fly. Oh dear, Jacob. Don't be as derpy as the Arno, please. At least you can actually reasonably climb. I'm trying to not thinking who they do so am I. Yet. Excuse me. Sabotage this one. And stop the machines and then he'll come out. Then we'll probably assassinate him and happy days. I just assassinate him. This man is dead. You're the dead man! Run along home. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, I can get combos. That is pretty awesome, that. And you get... I like the combo. I really like that. And the breaking defence. I will just carry a four because it's still from their bodies. Strange enough, I've still got my hat. Oh, not anymore. I've, I've just probably put my hood up. And now I put my hat back on. Time to head for higher. Again, Assassin's Creed. I already know how to free, free run and climb. I don't do it very well. I'll tell you that, but I know already how to do it. But I can guess it's just for newbie. Oh, I like that. Detection. Enemies will see you because it's better off shooting in Yeah. Look at that. Basically. I love it where he just puts his hand over the mouth and he's just like, yeah, just shut up. Please. Excuse me, child. If you don't mind, I'm trying to go and find someone and kill them. Oh my god, you... Oh, there we go, we're going to lose bodies now. Oh, we've got three pounds. And we've got three pounds again. I was, I semi already like already like Jacob better than Arno. I'm sorry. He's so ten he, Out of ten fighting skills for Arno I would give him a five at least. For Jacob right now, as I've played him, I'll give him a six. Like in the head. Oh. Airships. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? Who told you? Oh, how can that rope sleep at night? Get three pounds of off him. I know, I'm good to get split by him, but oh. Might as well just keep on looting. You do see someone, but guess what? You are dead eventually. Come on, Jacob. I don't want to be on that side. I want to be on that side. Yes, thank you.
Yeah, don't worry, children. I won't hurt you. I can't. I probably, I can't hurt you anyway. It's like GTA, probably, you know, they can't have children in the game because people probably just kill them every single time. Reasonably simple to get across to this one. So, where the hell is he? Is he in there? He is, of course, he is. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Should we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? Right. I think I've got a plan. And then in my plan it's either terrible or it's good. Oh, what? I just saw how much money I had. I had about two thousand pounds there. Quite a lot in Victorian times. Right. Let's see across here. Do you know what? That was so much easier. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years. And we'll run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon. You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. Did he just wipe his handkerchief or something over his blood? Is he just like I'll tell you, you know, with the feather? Doesn't say rest in peace or anything like that. Just wipes a handkerchief and off you go. normal That 
This is Sparta moment. Train. It's my train now. What's your bottle, boys? Thank God I didn't have to run on run on that bit. Oh, we seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Mm, indeed. That would definitely be good if you walked. Uh, got a thousand and two. And a spanner in the works. Conf already done. And now we're with her. She looks. Oh, I like a cape. Already. Let me guess, I have to kill another person but with her, so we'll see her side of the story as well. Okay, I'm happy. I wonder if it's going to be like that through the whole game. Oh, actually. Be slightly good if it was, and then slightly annoying, because you... Actually, no, it wouldn't. Actually, that'd be good because you you can see two sides of the story. Yard, guard quarters, Bruce's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose ends. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Bruce's supplies? Meter. Who's there? Oh, fuck. See, that's the one thing I missed in Unity. Time to deploy the diversion. Because you can do that in um, Unity, is uh, you know whistle them over, like in Black Flag. Because I like that in Black Flag. <laughs> God, I even I even like her now. She good. 
Hello, boys. And she's... I love the cane. I'm just gonna get this chest because well why not? Here you go. So I'll get some money out of that. Looks like coal actually that. Please, miss. Don't tell us yet. They'll send us to the lab. Okay, I'll give her, I'll probably give her the same treatment, I'll give her a 7 out of 10 of fighting skill and I think removability is still an issue though. Sometimes I go up to thing. still go up things that you're meant not to be, not to go up, just Still very annoying in this game. <coughs> smells like Jacob's cooking. Oh, that should keep you busy while I head into your lab. Unless, unless I heard that you can have choices of who, which missions you want to do. Do you want to do with hers or do you want to do with Matt Jacobs? Follow me down the tracks. You stay here. I'll keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. Knife in the head, it will hoz. Perfect. Right. Up we go. There we go, signalization. Or something else. More weeks with the device. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You have been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the order. Miss Thorn, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David. I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Be an assassin, blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, first leap of faith. Let's sell this like adults! Contact! 
What I thought of you. What the hell was that? No idea. Why don't you come here and find out? Surprising you actually heard it that far. Because normally they don't. But. Fucking head straight away. Where is Brewster's laboratory? All reconnaissance pointed straight here. A secret laboratory. Well, well. Perhaps I can aid this interrogation. Where am I going? I'm going up. I'm going to help that guy, I can guess. Can't see him through the wall. Said this very week when I went to the fight. That's what I thought. It's like a blue Thank you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when. What do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now, untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Indeed. Okay, how the hell did he get out? I'll probably through the window. I was gonna try and loot the bodies, see how, see how much money I can get, gather. Oh well. Go onto the roof and see what's what. Could be a quicker way, definitely. Yeah, typical as well. It's always raining in London. Yeah, might well kill. Kill him for good measure. I've got a throwing knife as well. So looting their bodies would definitely be helpful in every way. Right, where's this entry point? It's here. What are you doing? Keep that key in your pocket. That's Miss Dawn will have your guts regardless. Let's have a butcher's downstairs. Found him. Hey, leave them rats alone. Find your own pot. I'll feed him to me cat. Yep. Got it. 
it. I know it's the first mission, but it's quite easy, this. For the time being, anyway, until it gets really, really annoying. Lose his body. Yep, you got it. Oh, got a knife as well. It's good. Surprised he didn't hear my whistle though. Only getting three pounds from these cheap, cheap bastards. Let's see what's in this chest. Throw knife. Smoke bombs full. Yep, as always. No, I shouldn't be here, but guess what? You're not going to tell anyone that I am here. Yep, two knives to the head. This game. See what I can get. Three pounds and a throwing knife. What about him? Three pounds and a throwing knife? Yep, three pounds and a throwing knife. Oh, I'll fall that guy. Oh. Yeah, here I am, and here you are on the floor, in your own blood. I think you're going to bet you. Go and clean yourself up, man. You're bleeding. Another chest. Throw knives and other stuff. There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab. I'm not allowed in here, but what are you going to do about it? Because you are dead. Danger, men working overhead. It doesn't look like it. Oh, down into the underground. Uh, skill upgrade, XP equals lat, level 10, blah blah blah, yep. Double assassinations. Yes. Loot. What well, picking one? Heart boost. One. What else can I have? Eagle vision two. Eagle vision allows you to see through walls. That will definitely come in handy. And that's really it for now. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, we, we know that move from Unity. I mean, it's effective. Don't get me wrong, but 
we know it's from Unity, so we did, they haven't. So Ubisoft hasn't. Haven't. Don't mind me. I just kill the guy right in front of you. Yeah, no expense spent on the double assassinations. I thought they'd be more cooler, especially with a cane. But oh well. Chest. I've got three thousand seven hundred and seventy-nine pounds in my pocket. Good. Just figure out where, where I was supposed to be going. Yeah, it says swing, but nope, climb on top. What the hell is that? Piece of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. Pound basically. No, I don't really want to do that. Fuck. I can guess I get too close to that, it gives me electric shock. Well, I didn't mean to do that. It is time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. Will we fight? to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. And they came with the blue handkerchiefs. And why be the next with the blood? What's that all, all, all on about? No idea. I have to get out of here. 
Yeah, that would be probably wise. At least we know she can swim. That was far too close. It definitely was. Come, suck it in. Breathe in. Come on. You feel enough. Oh, I don't even need to do anything on this. Okay. You can see like all the old brick stove. Oh, out we go. Well, hopefully. Up and out. Yeah, I didn't assassinate him, I know. I should have. Couldn't wait. Was there explosion? What explosion? EV piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. <laughs> Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Isabel. What a lovely surprise. 
Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. Mm, thank you. I'm probably gonna need it. Was he going like an iron fist or something? Like knuckle braces or whatever they're called? On his. You know, blade hand. I'm surprised he hasn't got one on this hand either. So double blades. Like in NCO's time. A cane anyway, so he can just use the cane and just use that to his advantage. Well, you, they both got canes. Well, Jacob doesn't have one at the moment, but he will probably get one soon. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> the churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Uh, he's nicked my wallet. Oh shit. Find your little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Excellent. What else does London have to offer? No idea. Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. <laughs> You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Come on. Just need to get to a point where I can actually think. I can relatively stop. <laughs> Anyway, I could easily use Now oh, well there you go. She She beat me, but there you go. Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height, one female, one male, two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. 
I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? Well, we do. We'll do that in the next video. So I hope you liked it. I certainly enjoyed it. So like and favorite and subscribe. Uh, you can like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can also follow me on Google, Google Plus, Twitch, and Instagram. Sorry, this has been so long. I've been so intense, defied. But until the next video, finally.